Before we start, I do want to say that these patches are not out and will most likely be out in a week or so, possibly next Monday. A lot of this is just simply analysis or small analysis and a readout. The first part actually has to do with melee damage. Melee attacks now inflict double the damage per hit to destructibles, including Sage's Barrier and Heaven's Haven's Metal, D Metal Double Doors, which is the little mid part where you need to shoot them first in order for them to become wall bangable. Why? There weren't enough options during low econ rounds, such as the first round and right after switching sides, to combat Sage's Barrier Orb. Our intent is to add a high risk, high reward method for players to interact with their wall while still being able to take it down no matter their loadout. Now this actually should help quite a bit, especially with just taking Sage's Barrier down in general, because honestly I might just use it myself just to take it down real quick, as it does say, double damage. The next part is what everyone's been looking for, raise nerfed. Reduce pain shells from 2 to 1, pain shells being the grenades. Pain shells now have a kill reset requiring players to get 2 kills to refresh cooldown. Tuned and adjusted audio for paint shells, bla blast pack, and showstopper so that they're easier to hear in hectic scenarios. Fixed an edge case where the secondary cluster of paint shells would explode quicker than intended. They now have a minimum duration before exploding. What's up with that? Raze's goal is to be highly threaten threatening duelist that punishes enemies posted in predictable posi positions. But we felt like the cluster grenades and their number were creating overly oppressive scenarios. Also, players should be supplied proper gameplay information and the audio cues on all of Raze's abilities didn't match their threat, so we changed the audio for each. For example, when Showstopper is equipped or fired from a distance, players should be able to clearly identify and interpret the threat. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for and it should give Raze a little bit more balance and probably less, a lot less hate. Especially with her paint shells and her grenades, it's, it's one of the biggest and annoyance is that it can kill you very easily and it's good that you know it's been reduced from two to one the third part actually has to do with sage slow orb now also slows their airspeed of players in the zone players can now walk through the slow orb without making noise i assume that is shift walking why though players are able to circumvent too much of sage's slow orb by bunny hopping through the zone i want the minimum slow amount to be a bit more consistent with all movement in the zone while still allowing for bunny hopping and walking to provide a slight benefit to traversing the zone also, we feel that adding a stealthy yet slow way to move through the field brings more nuance to play against the zone and a bit more uncertainty for Sage, since she can't necessarily hear people who move through. This is interesting because it is somewhat of a buff to it, but while also nerfing, because now you can walk through it, and that is something I'm definitely going to be doing, while at the same time, it makes it a little bit harder, or makes it a little bit harder, yeah, for you to actually run through it. The patch notes includes some map updates, several exploits fixed on bind, haven, and split, Split or move from B mid to B main. The intent is to elevate some pressure from mid and provide more incentive for players to control B main. I'll show you that in a second. But going back to the several exploits fixed in bind, haven, and split, that is something actually quite interesting. I would assume that actually refers to some of the boosts and some of the things that I actually showed in some of my previous videos. Hopefully not all of them have been nerfed or removed because some of them were actually pretty cool and creative. So I'm here on split and here's where I would assume the orb is going to be moved to. So here's the orb from mid. That one, I would assume, will be moved to B main, which will be right around here. Some of the quality of life patches include reduced outbound network traffic from client for players running at high frames per second. This includes some ISPs and network setups for throttling game traffic, impacting gameplay by causing large spikes in network latency as FPS increased, no impact to gameplay or responsiveness. And finally, some simple bug fixes. Fixed a rare server crash caused by packets occasionally being corrupted by some players' networks. Cypher spy cam can no longer use weapons, thank god. Fixed a bug where footsteps audible range would sometimes not appear on the minimap. I actually had that a couple times.